Hey guys, it's Alexander Williamson here with The Secret History Living Inside Your Aquarium. We're at my favorite fish shop in the world at Aquarium Zen in uh, Seattle, Washington. And I'm going to just take you through some of the fish that are here right now. And as we do this, I wanted to just point out some of the cool, funky fish, maybe fish you haven't seen or heard of, maybe I haven't seen or heard of them, and so we're just going to look through, and uh, if you're seeing this now, come on down to the store that I love the most in Seattle, Aquarium Zen, and check out some of these fish for yourself. So, they just got in some of these candy cane uh, tetras, they're really pretty, uh, they're just really beautiful. They shoal together nicely. A staple that I'm sure you guys know is the Rummy Nose Tetra. Those are actually the best schooling fish for an aquarium that there is out there. They've done studies, uh, I should say that is out there in the hobby and been observed. So they've, they've noticed after time that they will school in numbers of eight or less uh, without major predators or anything and you can see you can even get them to come just for food and they'll move together really well so that's a cool fish we've got the green tiger barbs we've got some uh, uh, hunter and red points in here and what's really cool is Steve just got these in and they already have laid eggs and are guarding a nest so that's pretty cool uh, that you know in a tank with some semi-aggressive fish we have eggs already laid and being protected that's really cool in my opinion um, and and then down here we've got some paradise fish and uh, we've also got a red tail shark and uh, there's also a, a neon dwarf uh, rainbow fish, a prey cox, and those are always one of my favorites. So we got another rainbow fish coming in. So this back section of the shop is kind of a hidden jewel in my opinion. A lot of times people miss out what's back here. Um, in here we got yo-yo loaches, stir by corridoras, we've got um, so another cool fish that's in right now is the uh, beta falks, which these two here they're ready to breed according to Steve and uh, they're just a really funky uh, betta, wild betta and uh, they've got a lot of expression, nice little blue skirt around their body and they're a cool fish. Other than that we got some blind cave fish up here and some P82 gardener eye killies. Let's see if we can find the killies. These killies are beautiful. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen guard, uh, Gardener Achilles, but they come in a pretty wide range of styles and colors. And if I could get this one uh, to be under the light a little bit more, uh, you guys would see how brightly these guys are colored. Here's some down here that maybe we can get a better look at if I block this shot. Beautiful Gardener Achilles. Now these guys lay eggs and you can get the, the eggs to store on uh, different types of uh, substrate from stratum or uh, different uh, mosses and things like that. It's no problem. So uh, you can put them on that, send them through the mail, keep it a little moist. It's a really cool thing about uh, killifish if you didn't know that. And obviously probably not into killifish if you didn't because most of them share that trait. Also back here we've got Otto Sinkless, Daniel Chopra, uh, and a butterfly fish. These to me always look like a dragon just looming above the rest of the fish. They're just a really otherworldly fish that eats bugs and things that fall into the water. Very cool fish. So down here we've got plants that they're growing. We've got a dojo over here that's always great to inspire you to build something of your own and tissue cultures as well as the Amano tank and a uh, ancestress bristlenose tank. Then we also have this beautiful tank which you've seen in other videos. You can uh, 
check out other videos that I've put up to, to get details on that. Now, here is a beautiful tank, fully loaded right now, with uh, Kayathit uh, Daniels <laughs> and uh, Odessa Barbs, Peacock Gudgeons, all sorts of good stuff in here. And uh, a lot of times people walk by certain fish like Daniels that have so much color and character. It's just, it's awesome. So, in this tank here, we've got everything from uh, marbled hatchet fish, green fire tetras. Um, we've got uh, some stones I brought in way, way back. This is that Oso oh Jade. You can see how, even with the algae, it's kind of got that bluish green still uh, as it naturally ages. Um, just some really cool fish. Lots of different uh, endlers in here and uh, guppies over here. Steve always has interesting uh, guppies and endlers, so if you're ever in Seattle, this is definitely one of the places to come to. This is my personal favorite. Up here we've got one of my all-time favorite nano fish, which would be the purple neon tetra. Uh, usually they're like four bucks, three bucks. They're a great deal for a beautiful fish that turns bluish purple depending on the angle you're looking at it from. You can see them right back there. Then, uh, other than that, we've got lots of cool plants in here. Uh, Bucephalandra of all sorts. We've got some of my actual ancestors, the green dragon ones in here. Clown killies, furtata, rainbow fish, pseudomagills. We've got these beautiful platinum angels along with this crazy fire tail uh, guppy breed honey garamis and epistos over here look at these beautiful epistos and uh, over here we've got number two on my favorite little nano fish tank list I would say which are the uh, Somfongzi rasboras that are these teeny little guys and then the ruby red Tetras also, which is really cool. And uh, then these are what I started with for my breeding project. So that's kind of fun. Got pea puffers over here. More endlers. Ember tetras. Checkerboard uh, cichlids. Checkerboard cichlids are another great nano fish as well as the ember tetras too. They, they're they hardy um, and they can hold their own. They go move pretty quick if they need to. And uh, over here, we get into more of my favorite fish. Here's more uh, Prey Crocs Neon Rainbow Fish. Uh, and then we've got more Apistos up here. Beautiful pistos going on up here. Uh, and then we've got the barred pencil fish, which is always a cool fish too. Just about as big as they get. They're a great nano choice. Uh, and you can have a couple of those. They're not too, uh, too nippy or anything. And then we've also got this albino strain too, which is very cool. Look at these little guys poking their head out and waiting. Look like little gobies in the salt water almost. Along with salt and pepper catfish, silver tip tetras. Then we've got uh, your standard uh, gold ring danios, which I say standard, but they're one of my very favorite nano fish. I love these guys. They've got that gold color, that silver color, and they just flicker beautifully. So they're a fun one. With pond season coming up, tubbing season, here are some fish that do really well in a, a tub on your deck or outside in a small container even, like a pot or something. And these are long-finned, uh, these are long-finned white cloud minnows. And then these are albino white cloud minnows. And these long fins look really beautiful as they mature. And they can withstand big swings in temperature, which is fun. Uh, and they have a lot of babies, which is also fun. Over here, we've got more Somfongzi rasboras. We've got Celestial Pearl Danios. They're really young right now. 
which is kind of fun. They're super nano fish at the moment. We've got some uh, garamis in here, which is cool. Uh, some sparkling ones. Um, there's also a dwarf petricola catfish that I saw earlier in here, but I don't know where he went off to. Uh, also some kind of cool guppies again. And these great, these great uh, hatchet, marble hatchet fish are really cool. I really like these a lot. Uh, also, we got some chili rasboras in the back. They're a little shy. And uh, let's see what else we've got. So many plants over here, just tons of plants. Sword tails uh, mixed in there. Uh, they've actually got pea puffers mixed in too, but just these beautiful guppies and endler mixes. Over here, we've got cardinal tetras galore. Uh, German gold rams were in here. Let's see if they still are. I don't see them. But we've got black phantom tetras, really cool. Uh, and then up here, we've got some Congo tetras. Uh, they get big. People have been asking me about Congo tetras lately, and they're not super aggressive, but they are. They can be nippy. I wouldn't keep them with little teeny fish. I'd keep them with faster water or bigger fish, personally. Um, over here, we've got basically, uh, you know, Venezuela in a tank. <laughs> we've got really cool um, headstanders and tetras and angelfish. This is another one of my favorite, the fairy tale Corydoras. Really cool Corydoras. Got some young angelfish in here. Some older ones too. And then uh, over here, we've got just a continuation of all that. Lots of rams. Bolivian, wild Bolivian rams. Haven't been altered by line breeding or anything. These are uh, what the wild ones would look like. They're a bit more skittish, but you definitely make up for that in color. Check this color out right here. Just beautiful color on these rams. So other than that, we've got the display tank that I always show you guys when we come in and check this place out. Here is Freckles, the Oscar. He's the smartest Oscar this side of this tank, and uh, that goes all the way around the world and back. He can play lots of games. He's a fun little fish. He will track your hand, and he'll come to the top and give me... Let's see if we can get this on film. Can I have a kiss, Freckles? So, you can get... I don't know if that got on film, but you can get fish kisses from this Oscar. He's super, super personal. And that's just to show you guys, Oscars aren't always just mean killers, but they're a fun, beautiful fish. This is a wild one that happens to be pretty intelligent. And I think that's due to Danny teaching it tricks and things, as well as just feeding it by hand daily and uh, giving it some extra love, which all fish can handle a little extra love. So these uh, um, Danianellas are also kind of a cool little fish. They, they are about as micro fish as you can get in the hobby. And uh, they can go in with shrimp, and they don't really, uh, you know, tear up the shrimp too badly, which is nice. And then we've got these, uh, these nice, uh, they're going by leopard shrimp, but I think they're actually a type of tiger shrimp. So somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, along with that, we've got some long fin uh, cherry barbs down here that always look good. And another one of my very favorite... It's not quite nano, but it's pretty close, which is the marbled or zebra uh, autosynclus, which are really beautiful, as are the reticulated hill stream loaches. Those are a fun, uh, fun one too, but they get, they get quite a bit bigger than the size they are in this tank currently. But I do want to pick up eventually some of these little spotted shrimp. They're really beautiful. I'd like to see how they do. So. I'll have to do that in the future. Uh, as well as that, we've also got some really cool coral pencil fish over here. These guys are a little more territorial, I'm told, by Steve, the owner. And uh, he said they're more like killifish in their temperament, but they're sure a beautiful fish if you've got kind of a densely planted tank or some semi-aggressive 
fish that can hold their own, not fish that are going to hunt it down by any means, but uh, very cool fish, uh, as well as more awesome guppies, uh, brown tail pencil, and uh, bless you, and also these guys I love too. We've got the brown tail pencil fish, which, can we get the glare off of them? Yeah. These guys are really cool. They stay, I'd say due to their body mass, I consider them semi-nano also. Then we've got uh, some more Apistos down here. Steve, are these cockatoides? Orange something, or? Yeah, that's the orange flash. Orange flash. So we've got the orange flash cockatoides here. Beautiful little fish. Super fun, if you like my cribs on video, you'd love those also. And if you're in Seattle, pop on in, check them out, pick some up. So that's just kind of a run through of what they've got going on right now in the store, as well as workshops on the weekends, demo tanks, tissue cultures, tons of koi, uh, <laughs> koi uh, betta fish come through here, as well as all different sorts of beautiful half moons and placots and dragon scale, all sorts of things show up, so very fun, very beautiful, and maybe we'll end this on a patriotic note of this red, white, and blue Thai, <laughs> Thai uh, betta, who's not happy to see me. All right, guys, if you like this, if you like seeing the stores in the area, uh, shopping locally, supporting local uh, aquarium shops, local fish stores, uh, can I get a like on that? And also, come on in if you're in the area. Uh, the water's fine. So, uh, my name's Alex Williamson, once again, and uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Thanks, guys.